Hey guys, Brandon coming here. If you're not using one of these, I got six reasons why you should be. So reason number one is gonna be this like low to no mess. And the reason for that is, you know, just the chalk ball itself kind of acts like a little bit of a screen, holding like larger chunks if there is any inside and really only gets the finer particles of chalk on your hands, which really makes a big difference in mitigating mess and excessive cleanup. All right, so reason number two is gonna be is that it is safer to use a chalk ball than loose chalk. And the fact that you're not dumping it on the people that you're climbing with. Because I don't know if you've ever climbed at a gym or outside and someone right next to you when they pull their hand out of loose chalk, a lot of times like little chunks of the chalk come out of their chalk bag. And it's really annoying because it can blow on your face, get in your eyes, you know, all in your sinuses and it's really not fun. And the worst is when you're rope climbing and you as the blayer, you're looking up, blaying the person that's climbing and they pull their hand out of a uh, chalk bag that has loose chalk in it, you end up dumping a lot of chalk on the person that's blaying you. And it is really quite annoying. You know, I usually try not to say anything, but if it becomes a frequent thing, it can really become quite annoying. All right, so reason number three is that I personally feel you actually get better coverage with the chalk ball in the sense that the chalk sack kind of acts like the filter, like I said, containing larger particles of chalk still inside while only allowing the finer stuff to get out. So I feel like when you do that rolling motion with the chalk ball in your hand, I actually feel like you do get better, more even coverage across your fingers and in the palm of your hands or whatever you're applying it to. Guys, but starting with number four is that you can actually take the chalk ball and actually chalk up a hold or a bar or whatever you're trying to grab onto. That's nice, you can actually just take the ball and kind of dab it and pat it on a little bit, almost like you're spreading like makeup, like foundation or some sort of female product on whatever you're trying to do. And that's something that I don't think a lot of people utilize and should, but I use it occasionally on a climb, especially if it's a longer bouldering problem and it's a difficult climb, so I don't have time to chalk up while I'm climbing. I can actually just dab a little bit where I know my hand's gonna grab to. And the part when my hand's already sweated a lot of the chalk off as I was climbing, when I get to that hole, there's chalk there for my hand to utilize. So that I think is definitely a big thing that you can take the chalk ball and apply chalk to whatever it is that you're trying to grab a hold on to or need to use it for. Number five is something that I kind of do. I don't know how often other people do it, but it's something I think you'll do once you notice it. And that's it's almost oddly satisfying. You know, like when I'm at a gym, like waiting my turn, or if I'm trying to figure out like how to do something, or if I'm at the regular gym, you know, resting for a second, there's, it's almost like a fidget spinner. Like when you have that chalk ball in your hand, you kind of roll it. It can be kind of like this oddly satisfying thing that you do as weird as that sounds, you know, and just kind of like applying chalk to your hand. You kind of get like this rolling motion that you do. It kind of warms up your hands a little bit. So that I would say is tip number five is that oddly satisfying motion you get with the chalk ball as you're rolling it as weird as that sounds but i personally like it and i've if you watch other people i think of other people do it too all right guys so reason number six on why i think you should be using a chalk ball over loose chalk is that i actually feel like you save on chalk and that is purely for the fact that you're not dumping it everywhere and you're not putting access on your hands that you end up rubbing off prior to climbing or working out it's kind of a micro tip, but I do actually feel like I've saved and I don't burn through chalk quite as much as I did when I started out using loose chalk. Um, that might be kind of skewed and just maybe superstition, but I honestly feel like using a chalk ball, I don't go anywhere, go through anywhere near as fast. All right, so I hope this video helps somebody. You know, I'm not trying to get crazy with it. It's just like, you know, if you've using loose chalk and you're thinking about using a chalk ball or just, you know, kind of use back, go back and forth. These are kind of six reasons why I think you should, or at least why I prefer to use a chalk ball. The one that I stress the most is the low to no mass, especially with the people you're climbing with. Cause like I said, some of the things I left listed in this video can really get quite annoying when they keep happening. So, you know, that's my personal preference. And, uh, I guess whatever works for you, just keep on doing it. And I appreciate you guys really watching these videos. Thanks. Bye.